Okay, well we are on a survival mission this time. We are CENTCOM, uh, apparently CENTCOM rescue crew. And the space station somehow managed to shamble its way into a fairly significant asteroid field. Meteor, meteor shower, whatever you want to call it. And now they are getting their asses creamed. <clears throat> Thankfully I think we've got a few... Uh, we've got force fields around our ship. If I can find any before heading out, I'll have some. I'll have one on me. Let's see. I may not be able to though. We have an energy shield generator. Can I turn that on here? Decrease range, increase range, toggle it. <clears throat> you must place the generator on the ground. There we go. Centcom prototype energy shield. Pick that up. Um, oh God, no! Don't don't go outside. Hang on a second. <clears throat> We're going to drop that energy generator there. And I want to get this shit going. Drop the pin. Drop the PDA. Don't need that. I'll turn this prototype shield generator on and stick that in our pocket. Pick that up. Let's see. We've got a metal foam grenade here. We'll stock up on one of those. Uh, actually, put another one there. Here we go. <clears throat> Do we have any survivors here? Where are you all at? pick up all the bodies I can. Whoops. That's what you get whenever a big dumb idiot like me picks up. <clears throat> we now have a shield of metal foam there though. For what good it'll do us. <clears throat> They'll have to beat their way through it real quick, but whatever. <clears throat> you should have picked up an energy shield, man. You're gonna die out here. You can tell the station's been completely flattened. It's decimated. <clears throat> see any survivors. The clown will most definitely pick him up. And there's the detective too. It's Pops Freshenmeyer, the clown. What is my name? Jake Judge. And I did just get creamed with a meteor. The personal shield absorbed most of the impact though. This is the quartermasters. Whoa, shit, that was a big one. Damn, another one. I'm not sure how much uh, beating this shield can take, but we'll find out for science, right? There's the clown and someone else. Uh, no, let's take another metal grenade. I don't know if these prime whenever I throw them, or if I actually have to prime them first. There's another retrieval expert down there. What are you doing, Solomon Archibald? Get out here and work. <clears throat> Without a personal shield, he's probably facing the harsh vacuum of space freezing his body. We want to recover the detective's body for sure. If we can revive him, he can tell us why the station is so far off course. Perhaps the syndicate sent it through. Screwed up the navigation controls. Um, where am I at? <clears throat> the station is so different. There's no walls. Here we go. Yes, another body brought back to the shuttle. Fortunately, we don't have any genetic chambers there, or any cryo tubes either. So I have to work fairly quick. Who do we have here? Tango. Tango in Vective. Pull you back. You're pretty close. Damn it, two, two of them are dead. Two of, my, two of my men, two of my CENTCOM body retrieval experts. <sighs> Drop them off. Let's see. I'm going to prime that grenade and throw it there. <clears throat> Put a little bit of shielding up. And this guy, what are you doing, Solomon Archibald? You are fired. Oh, man. <clears throat> I'm starting to freeze now. Come on, Archibald. Work with me here. I'm not sure how much danger I'm in. If any at all with this shield. Brock gasps. Where is he at? Brock, Brock, Brock. Somebody's still alive. Brock Bradford. He's still moving. What the hell? Does he breath mask? Take that off. Take his security headset off. No. Drop that. <clears throat> Whoops. I might be able to do CPR on him. 
Okay, so that's off. Okay. Help. <clears throat> trying to perform CPR on uh, Brock Benford here. Bring the detective back to life instantly. Instead of waiting until we get to CENTCOM. Have to do it CPR every seven seconds at least. Do it to the staying alive theme. Did he seize up and die? Damn it, I was too late. Shit. Just seconds too late. Watch out. Free floating for a second. Okay. What are you doing here? I haven't seen him move for a while, Javon David. Am I the only one left moving? I'm going to go ahead and take another grenade. And just throw it there. Oh damn, I didn't prime it. There's another person. Looks like he's down. Kyler Noten. Examine. He's not gasping. It says he's unresponsive, so he's dead. Let's see. This grenade. <clears throat> we need a huge metal barrier over there to absorb some meteors. Going from that direction, at least. Retrieve your worthless body, Kyle. You weren't supposed to become a casualty here. I might become a casualty soon, too. That one broke through my shield. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Over here. I don't know what that was. It looked like a janitor. Stumbling around. Kyle Norton seizes up, falls a limp. Yeah, that was... Probably could have done CPR. Man, they collided. That was close. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. Big one. Just barely sidestepped it. Where is my ship at? Here we go. Yeah, that metal foam's doing pretty good. It's a huge barrier anyways. I think it's doing good. A minute 35 until we leave. I don't know if I can grab another body in that time. Move it, you bastard. Get out of the way. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Taking massive impacts on our ship here. I think our shields are going down. You know what? Just throw this here. Don't need that. Fuck, no bruise packs either. How about this med kit? A minute ten. If I can get a bruise pack, I'll go out there. Nope. That one's empty too. Maybe I won't go rescue anybody else. Screw them all. I've done my dip, my job. Holy shit, another empty med pack? Were they all pillaged or did they just come empty? The plating buckled in over here a little bit. We're gonna be getting through soon. We don't get the hell out of here. So all those are empty. 41 seconds. You know what? Let's go. Turn back at 20 seconds. Here we go. We've got this guy here. Javon David. We'll pull him back to the shuttle. And he'll be the last one that I rescue. <clears throat> You're safe. He's still got to be alive. We'll take off his gas mask here. Eyes, go head. He's got nothing on, so... Trying to perform CPR and wake up, Javon David. Every seven seconds, you need to pump on his chest. Pump, 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 pump. Yeah, whatever. Ah, the emergency shuttle has docked. Three minutes to board it. Do I actually have to go back over there? I will run over there. Wake up. <clears throat> there we go. Are you there? Brain dead by chance? <clears throat> Let's see. Well, I don't know. Should I try to run to the emergency shuttle? I don't know if this ship can still even move. It's taken one hell of a beating. Um, let's go. We're not going to sit here for two minutes anyways. So we'll pick up this metal foam grenade. Pick up this metal one and run for it. All the way across the station. Be fairly easy, I hope. Whoa. Try to use this guy as a meat shield. Um, right through. Oh shit, that was a big one. I think he took it for us, though. Yeah, he's went back down. One hell of a hero. Sacrificed himself to the very end. Whoa. Coming right here, then. Um, I'm 
okay. That'll have to work. So people are still alive out there, but I'm not gonna go save them. Our shield is holding up in here rather nicely. Um, that metal foam apparently does not leave the force field. So, oh well. We can punch through it rather easily. Um, somebody else can pick up my oxygen tank here and bash it. Get in here quick. Destroy the metal foam. Run. <clears throat> Even the arrival shuttle, the escape shuttle, is exploding. Being rattled by the mass of meteors. I'm just ripping through it. Will be to anyone who gets hit. There's Edward W.A. Pointsman, the bloodthirsty killer. Jules Heinlein? I think he's dead. Oh, gosh. He looks slightly burned. He's probably just laying there. It's awful. What's it look like on this side? Bash through this. Wait a second. Eight seconds? Yeah, forget them. Wait, wait, wait. Eight seconds? We can pull him back. Here we go. And, oh, I guess we left the other guy. Sorry, Javon. You got left behind. You shouldn't have been brain dead. We rescued Tate Pykoff here. He's been stunned in the chest. Yeah, let's bash him. Let's bash his head in now. Why'd you die of meteors? The following people survived the meteor attack. Nils Burr. Frank Castle. Edward W.A. Pointsman, Jack Golem, Jake Judge, and Jules Heinlein. And Martin Allen stayed alive somewhere on the station. We picked up a distress signal a couple days after uh, the meteor storm passed and went back to pick up Martin Allen. <laughs>